Hello, happy hunt day. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. And to anyone who's returning, a welcome back. And to my tribe, what is up, my tribe? If you aren't part of the tribe, subscribe, join the tribe, hit that bell icon button. I do regular readings. I upload Monday through Friday every day, every morning. You can watch this anytime. And then I have weekend reads, and I did not do the twin flame read this weekend, people. I'm sorry. Uh, just issues going on. I don't know if you've watched the last couple days, but had a death happen, and, and I'm not going to dwell on that. But uh, I may try to get it in during the week, the rest of this week. I don't know, though. I can't guarantee. I mean, it's already Wednesday, so. But happy hump day to everybody. All right, let's get some wisdom from spirit, okay? So I always do a little meditation -y thing with, with wisdom, with spirit before I start these. And I ask spirit for some wisdom. Success. So Monday was all about taking action. And yesterday's reading was about being enough, not worrying that you're worried about maybe taking the steps you need to move forward. But you are enough. Don't worry that you don't have what it takes. And trust in the universe and trust in spirit that they're, they have your back. They're leading you in the right direction. They wouldn't do you wrong. Success. You're going to have success. I mean, just right off the bat, you're going to have success. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get as far as um, past, present, and future energies here. Um, this is a little bit different style than I normally do, but I kind of like this. What do you guys think? For those of you who are watching, Lisa and Wanda, did I not say your name? I'm so sorry. And for anybody else who would like shout-outs, like Lisa and Wanda, who are regulars, and come every day and comment all the time, just hit that thumbs up button for me, please, and do comment. If you want your name shouting out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And today is Wednesday. I'm probably not going to be doing whatever Wednesday for everybody today. I don't know. We'll see if I can get it in because, you know, you have to edit and everything. All right. I'll stop yammering because it's still timed on my phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The roughness of being a YouTuber. A YouTuber. Okay. Hmm. Building a strong foundation for yourself. That's the first thing I heard when I saw the three of pentacles. Um, you know, I just, uh, this, can, this card can be interpreted in different ways. The, the, what I hear is you may have other people saying, hey, you need some help with that or whatever. And you're like, you know what? You know what? I got this. I got this. You got this. You're going to have success. You're going to build your own foundation. You, you're doing just fine. You got this. All right, so any past influence now? There's the Knight of Swords. Ah, do you see how that Knight of Swords is, the horse is going that way? It's very tempting to go back to the past. You know, that past can haunt us for all of us. No matter what the, whether it's a person, a situation, whatever it is, it can haunt us. In the present moment, the high priest is you're going to have to trust your intuition here. You're going to have to trust spirit and trust your intuition. Go in there. Don't listen to anything. Don't look external. Close your eyes. What is your heart and your soul saying to you? And moving forward. Moving forward. Uh, you had the Ace of Wands on Monday and Tuesday. Now look, now you got two of, of Wands, which is choosing what path. What path do you want to go on? Just had a new moon. Setting those intentions. Making plans. Making plans. That's what I'm hearing. Making plans. And you know what? Um, I'm going to shuffle these as I'm going. So Knight of Swords, please, so I can clarify. So we don't run out of time, for God's sakes. But I'm hearing specifically spirits saying that whatever plans you make, you're going to have success. So if you're worried about making the right decision... Sorry, that was a whole water card. The high priestess came out in the middle of all that. So I'm just going to say. All right. If you are worried. This one came out. Okay. If you are worried about not being successful, Spirit says, don't worry. I'm leading you in the direction you need to go. It's time to think about what path you want to take. Start setting those attentions. Oh, my freaking God. There's the two of wands again. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Not clarifying that. Clarifying the knight of swords. So which, which do you want, Spirit says. Spirit says, what do you want? You're holding on to the past. Do you want to stay in the past? Because that's fine. You can. It's all free will. Spirit's not going to, you know, make you go in the other road. Do you want to stay on that path? Or do you want to go on a new path? Do you want a whole new beginning here? It's up to you. What happened in the past? Did that work for you? Success is up to you. There's the sun. Now look at this. You want to see that sun? This is success. It's dark here. Okay? So you can't see. 
necessarily. You can't predict the future. You may not be able to see it. You yourself may not be able to see it. But the spirit is saying it's it's all going to, the light is going to shine for you. You're going to be able to see it. You, you just have to trust right now. Because the high priestess is very much about mystery. It's a mystery to you. Temperance. Ah, there's that patience card. But you know what? If something, if we want something bad enough, we have to wait for the right moment and the right circumstances to do what we need to do. Now is that time. Okay, so the temperance is saying, be patient though with the way you're feeling. Be patient with yourself because there's that ace of wands again. We're taking that motherfucker out of there. That came out too. Being diplomatic, using your wisdom. This is what you want. Go after it. Go after what you want. You're going to have success. You're not going to have necessarily success staying in the situation you're in. Because with the devil that came out on Monday, it's toxic. Okay, so we have a couple of cats, too. Yes, two cats that came out here. I hope we don't run out of time. How are we doing? I can't see. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep going. So what Spirit's saying here, <clears throat> now is the time to take the bet. You have an idea of what you want. It's time to, Monday was about action. It's time to start putting it into action. Now is the time. And yesterday, I, uh, the reading, the energy that came up was having some doubts. You are enough. Don't worry about that. You are enough. And with the intuition, you're going to have to trust spirit on this one. The Four of Swords is you, you, you're having some sort of, you have heartbreak or hurt inside. Negative thoughts, possibly. You need to get your truth and your clarity. So spirit's saying, taking a time out and meditating on it and thinking about it. Um, this is the, the Hierophant. Is, I always see this card as spiritually guided. It's like a spiritual teacher. Spirit is trying to teach you something to you about yourself. That, again, you are strong enough. You can do this. You can have the success you want. Don't stay in the past and, and let other people or yourself hold you back because you're worried about moving forward. Ah, that was in reverse on Monday. Now it's upright. Step into your power, my dear people. Oh, my freaking God. Look at that. The Empress. Divine feminines, both divine feminine energies. And underneath that is the tower. If you don't embrace your feminine energy, whether you're male or female watching this, now it doesn't matter, these are just energies. It has nothing to do with your gender. If you don't step into your power and nurture yourself and what you want, and you're always worried about what might happen, what other people will think, it has to be your truth, your truth, and what you want. Your truth and what you want. That's just what this is all about. And it's going to feel, it may feel like a tower moment. This is a drastic change for you. This tower moment is a huge, huge change for you. But with the tower moment, when something comes down, when you tear it apart, you can rebuild. Okay? So it doesn't mean that it's falling apart, necessarily. That means that you've torn, you have torn down that foundation that you thought you had. It, it had cracks in it. It had, things were leaking. It wasn't strong enough. Damn it. It wasn't strong enough. But you can tear it down and rebuild it. All right, my beautiful people? Well, that's my cue to stop. All right, so thank you all for tuning in. If you like this, again, thumbs up and comment, please. Do join the tribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon button. Subscribe. That little button's there. Hit the bell next to it to get notifications. Uh, I may do Twin Flames, but I'm not going to promise anything. This is a very difficult time for myself and, you know, with the phone. Um, but... I hope you will join me again. Thank you all for joining in. I appreciate the support so, so much. I love you, Wanda and Lisa. And I hope more people will join. All right? Um, anyways, thank you so much. Uh, come join me again tomorrow morning. Or whenever you can watch this. It will be released in the morning. All right? Thank you so much. Uh, peace out.